Hi guys, welcome back to our super quick revision series. Today we are doing performance evaluation. The glimpses of this chapter you all have already seen in something like balance scorecard, something like performance prism, something like performance pyramid. <coughs> Lot of data will be given. We have to try to be seeing or trying to analyze that particular data. Once you have analyzed, try to be thinking what suggestions can be given. You will be given lot of data over here. Most of the data will be representing KPI, key performance indicators. So you'll have to try to see the data. You'll have to try to interlink the data. You'll have to try to arrive at some conclusion, which areas companies have done good, which areas companies have done bad, wherever they have done bad, then can we be giving some suggestions to be improving it? Okay. Now this chapter is too vast to be very honest, <coughs> but few of the things that I could conclude based upon the various questions that you'll have. So I thought that I'll try to summarize that thing right in the beginning. Whenever you have been given lot amount of data, then first thing is whatever data you have been given. <coughs> example, you have been given say net profit ratio. You have been given say working capital turnover ratio. All these things indicates what? Okay, that is one thing. Now, usually whatever the question will give you, all those things will be important only. But sometimes they might try to give you some data which is not important. So that time you can try to be saying that it matters, but not too much also. Then... <coughs> is whatever data given to us here is it good or is it bad okay good or bad means in this case uh in this particular case is the company doing good in this front or is it doing bad in this particular front further try to find out some percentages or something like net profit ratio to give a small example suppose uh ebit is given suppose capital employed is given you can try it like you know to find out few better indicators from the data that is given to us example with the help of net profit means your ebit and with the help of capital employed you can try to be finding out return on capital employed if suppose ko is given you can try to be finding out say eva so try to find out few of the ratios it's better to be analyzing the data with the help of these indicators okay so like you know if some data has been given Suppose some absolute numbers have been given. You can try to find out the percentages to the extent you all can. Example, if suppose like, you know, company is very risky, you can try to be finding out debt equity ratio, so on and so forth. Then suppose you have been given the data of five months, six months or five years, six years. Okay, then how to be analyzing that particular data? Then usually we say, if it is increasing, it'll be simple to comment. Okay, example, net profit ratio was 9%, 10%, say 12%, 15%. You can try to be saying company is doing good. If suppose it is vice versa, say 15%, 12%, 10%, 9%, you can try to be saying that company is consistently doing bad and if same trend will be continuing in future, company might have to start to be closing down. So if it is increasing, it is decreasing, then in that case, it is also simple. Okay. But if it is changing, then one of the ways is either you comment about each and every year, this year it was good, this year it was bad, or in this particular case, you can try to be using your averages. Okay. So that depends upon like, you know, how many marks the question is, how much you would like to be commenting, so on and so forth. Then. If that ratio is bad, what impact does it make on the company? Example, if your net profit ratio is falling, you can try to be seeing or you can try to be saying, sir, that sales is falling, cost is increasing. So it is a dangerous position for the company. So try to say impact of that particular thing. If it is improving, then what impact does it make? To give us one example, suppose number of hours of training are increasing. Each and every year we train our employees and this particular thing has been increasing. You can try to be saying it's a good sign. Good sign in the sense in this particular case that workers will be trained. So therefore they will be far more efficient. They will be far more knowledgeable. Company will be able to sustain in the long run. If suppose like you know number of hours are falling and try to be saying that workers are not trained. It will hamper the quality also. So try to say the impact good or bad that's okay. But try to be saying the impact of that particular thing. Okay. Then one thing try to interlink with other KPIs and impact on other KPIs. To give you a small example suppose. Uh, <coughs> complaints are increasing of the customers okay this data is given to you that number of complaints are increasing then apart from that investment on customer relationship call centers is decreasing you can try to be saying that this is not a good sign because if that is increasing if the complaints are increasing, company should be spending more on this. So try to be interlinking this particular thing. To give you some other example, if suppose net profit ratio is falling and amount that you are spending, suppose cost of manufacturing is increasing, that is cost of spending. Okay. Then in that particular case, you can try to be saying one of the reasons that net profit ratio is falling is because cost is improving. And then finally, in this particular case, your suggestion is the performance is bad. Then in that case, it is your duty to be commenting what can be done to be making the things better. Okay, so that's what we are going to be doing as such. 
सो दैट वॉज जस्ट योर इंट्रोडक्शन दिस चैप्टर इज ऑल अबाउट डेटा दे कैन गिव यू एनी डैम कंपनी ओके यू शुड ट्राई टू वर्क आउट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस दैट हाउ द डेटा कैन बी यूज फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द कंपनी ओके नाउ Our question number one was one of the best questions that we all have done. Like you know, in this entire chapter, there was a coaching institute who teaches to all the engineering students up and so on. Uh, they it's called as Spicy. Okay, so this kind of an institute provides comfortable classrooms, the libraries, ambience, and overall development of the students. Okay, so therefore this particular data was there. Apart from that, in this case, they deliver good quality coaching. They have the innovative ways up and so on. then further uh it has however like you know been successful in getting the students but in recent years its number of students have been falling consistently okay now this question is all about 2018 i think just to say 2018 2019 and then those guys are saying even for 2020 you know as such outlook doesn't look very good one survey was done a survey in this case my education outlook over the month to 31st december found that only one in five respondents believe that their business will be better off in 2020 as compared to 2019 so in 2019 already their business was bit down they are they are thinking in 2020 will be worse off also but one thing just like you know because our general knowledge it usually comes to our emotions also so therefore this question was asked by icai before the covid came okay so therefore let's not try to bring the covid situation okay then further it has a standard fees okay for each and every city wherever its centers are there okay but the people over there have like you know the manager over there has a discretion whereby they can give a discount up and so on okay and uh, they can do all these particular things to increase the student hiring ratio uh student hiring ratio means how many students will be there okay apart from that in that case the average standard fees per student across all the centers was 15000 compared to 12000 in the previous year so therefore this is supposed to be the standard fees okay but in the standard fees there could be discounts up and so on okay further then it generates additional revenue from like you know uh, selling the books providing the test series all those particular things are there then periodic tests are also done and all these particular uh, data is there like you know every test which is attempted by the students give them a clear indication of their understanding of the concepts up and so on so all this data was there and then like you know this thing started this they give you whatever is a gross fees in this entire year it was uh, in thousands okay less discount this was a net fees apart from that the other revenues like uh, selling of the books the test series the total revenue total cost this was operating profit other performance information capital employed and in this case student hiring ratio it was 73% the previous year it increased to 78% in this particular year that was one thing apart from that the capital employed in this case more or less not very different okay not very different as such and then average ssr what do you mean by ssr student satisfaction rating previously this was 9.8 it became 8 uh it was 9.5 it became 8 now one thing this is supposed to be a non financial indicator we must have taken a feedback or something from uh, the students and they must have given like you know their rating at the end of the course or at the end of the unit within the course the students are asked to complete a questionnaire rating on a scale from 1 to 10 where the students have to represent like you know where 10 represents the excellent on various aspects for example the knowledge the level of the faculty the quality of the support material and approachability of the faculty to ask them few questions so based upon like you know how uh, satisfied a student is the rating was there so 9.5 and it was 8 now <clears throat> few complaints that they came like you know a uh, few issues that came through this the students complained that the faculty institute was full of attitude so therefore like you know the faculty they don't try to respond to the doubts they don't try to encourage the students those particular things apart from that the students in the classes they needed special individual attention okay there is a need of smaller classrooms smart classrooms sorry okay doubt solving sessions to improve the results apart from that there was one thing spicy had planned to start a remedial program for the average students 
at all the centers at the beginning of 2018. However, this program has been put on hold to reduce the expenses. I think this was one good thing that the company had planned. Like, you know, that we will try to have special kind of coaching or special seminars or special uh, sessions for those people who are not doing very good. But such thing was never ever done. Okay. Now, analyze Spicy's performance for the year ending 31st of December 2019. So, we had to try to be saying like, you know, how good this particular company has done. Now, when we started away with this answer, okay, it was asked in some RTP. It, it is a coaching institute, okay, it's a coaching institute, uh, which does the coaching for JEE, -E, okay. Apart from that, in this case, we have free, we have to try to analyze the performance for the year. In fact, we have to try to analyze the performance for 2019, to be very honest, okay, because 2018 data is there, 2019 is there, so therefore, we'll take 2018 as a base and then we'll try to be seeing. And next year, they expect the business to be, in fact, worse only. Their standard fees per student increased from 12,000 to 15,000. Although the centers can be giving the discounts in form of scholarships. Okay. It should be discount or scholarship. Okay. Further. Now, <clears throat> let's start to analyze the data. First of all, revenue. Now, gross revenue increased by some percentage. Now, what did we do over here? Now, this data that was there with us, no? Okay, gross revenue. From here till here, we found out all the percent. In fact, we found out the percentages for all of them here. Okay. So, in that case, like, you know, whatever was the growth, we find out that, which reflects, in this case, higher student hiring ratio <coughs> and increase in average standard fees per student from 12,000 to 15,000. So, therefore, in this case, like, you know, uh, one thing, gross fees had also increased. Apart from that, in this case, the uh, standard fees had also increased. So, absolute figures has also increased. Apart from that, the numbers, the number of students had also increased. Now, <coughs> net fees, but has only increased by 1.22. So, net fees in this particular case was this particular data. So, like, you know, we all have given lot amount of discount that you all can try to be seeing. Okay. So, therefore, there was huge amount of discount that was there. This reflects 35.13% increase in the discounts or scholarship offers. So, that's huge. So, we all have increased the gross fees, but our net fees after giving the discounts is not very high. So, obviously, at that particular time, that means that, like, you know, our net fees has increased by a very less percentage, which means that we are giving huge amount of discounts or scholarships. The company got higher SHR by offering discounts, which itself is good, but now this is a positive side for it. See, we got higher number of students, that is for sure. We have given huge discounts. Now, that is slightly a bad thing. But then, in this case, there is one extra thing. Whatever extra students we all will get now, they will try to give us extra revenue in form of, we get extra revenue in form of the sale of the books and the test series. And that is one thing that you all can try to be seeing, that this percentage has increased quite nicely. Okay. This was one thing. Further, operating profits. Operating profits, you all can try to be seeing from here. These were the operating profits. Operating profits have fallen beta and they have fallen big time. Okay. Now, try to be thinking our revenue increased. If you'll try to be seeing this revenue has increased. I don't say by a great percentage, but still it has increased. So, it has increased. Profit should have increased, but then it did not. Why? Because in this case, cost have increased quite a lot. Okay. So, you should try like, you know, to try to cut down the cost. But one thing, whenever you ever give an idea, sir, we'll try to cut down the cost, no? Try to always say this thing, do not cut down those costs which will hamper the quality of your service. In this case, don't try to have cheaper professors. Already you are facing a problem that the teachers are full of attitude, they don't try to solve the doubt. So, therefore, don't say those particular things, okay? If you're ever going to be saying cut down the cost, simply try to be saying that let's try to cut down those costs which are non-value added. Any cost which is adding value, in fact, should be encouraged. So, if out of all these costs, there are some costs like, you know, which are incurred for betterment of the teaching, then it is, in fact, far better that you incurred. This year, your profit will fall, but in long run, your profit might start to be increasing. So, company has to try to do more analysis of the cost because we have not been given the analysis of the cost data as such. If we do not have the analysis, we don't have the breakup of this year. If we do not have the breakup of this, then in that case, how the hell we try to find out like, you know, company is done good or bad. Okay. So, that is one thing. Further, revenue increased, but operating profits have fallen down by some percentage that is given to you between 2019 and 2018. Now, <clears throat> Due to obviously increase in the operating cost, which is not a good sign and should be investigated. We should try to reduce down the cost. 
विच डू नॉट रिड्यूज द कस्टमर सैटिस्फैक्शन कस्टमर्स मीन्स योर स्टूडेंट दैट इज वॉट आई रिटर्न ओवर हियर एग्जाम्पल नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग इनफ टाइम बाई द फैकल्टी टू द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर डाउट सॉलिंग डू नॉट ट्राई टू कट डाउन कॉस्ट ऑन दीज पर्टिकुलर मैटर्स बिकॉज दीज एड वैल्यू द इंक्रीज इन कॉस्ट हेज ऑल्सो लेट टू फॉल इन ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट मार्जिन द मार्जिन फॉल्स फ्रॉम वी एव फाउंड आउट वन परसेंटेज एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट दिस अपॉन आई थिंक सम सेल्स इन टू हंड्रेड और दिस अपॉन लाइक नो ग्रॉस फीस आई थिंक वी मस्ट हैव डन दिस अपॉन नेट नेट सेल्स इन टू हंड्रेड ओनली सो देफ दैट पर्टिकुलर फिगर हैज फॉलन नाउ द रिड्यूस प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी ऑल्सो रिफ्लेक्ट द इंस्टीट्यूट रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड विच हैज फॉलन डाउन फ्रॉम दिस परसेंटेज टू दिस सो देफ वी टू कर ई बी आई टी बी डिवाइडेड बाई कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड हेज ऑल्सो फॉलन दिस सजेस्ट दैट द वैल्यू दैट स्पाइसी इज जनरेटिंग फ्रॉम इस एस इज फॉलिंग ओके फर्दर स्टूडेंट सैटिस्फैक्शन रेटिंग नाउ आउट ऑफ ऑल द इंडिकेटर्स नो दिस रियली इंडिकेट्स योर क्वालिटी ओके This rating suggests that in a space of one year, company has lost 1.5 times of rating on scale of one to ten. That's huge, guys. Huge, huge, huge. Obviously, for these guys, their only plus point is their quality. If your quality is good today, you are making losses. You might start to make profits. But if your quality is bad today, you are making profits. Tomorrow, you will end up in getting losses for sure. So therefore, they should try to have good quality. That is important. Spicy cannot afford to lose more points. therefore spicy needs to ensure that the student satisfaction level are maintained as high as possible and it is also important to know what the students feel about the services then one other last line to end of this company had deferred some of its program for the average students okay now that could have hurted i think the sentiments very badly i think whatever those guys have planned for 2018 they should have at least implemented that thing by 2019 so that was not done due to that also the rating could have fallen okay that's it about this particular question is a three star question i consider it to be quite a important question so pay proper attention to it okay that's it your question number 1 we'll start away with question number 2 now this question was asked in rtp november 2020 Now this question now is about a company which manufactures the apparel, clothes, up and so on. Now currently, what business model these guys have? They all have a factory whereby they all make the clothes. They all send it to the stores. The customers go to the stores. If they all like, they all will buy a regular kind of a ready-made market or something. Okay. So this is whatever this company does. Now obviously uh, there will be some problem, and that's why the question comes. Lately, these guys have noticed, like you know, that many people they come out of the stores without buying the product. And when we all ask, like you know, uh, we ask to the customers, why are you not buying? They either don't like it, or suppose it is not exactly a, a product which fits them properly. And obviously, in this model, which is kind of a push model, if you all think, just in time system, we all have done a push system and a pull system. This is a push system whereby, like you know, lot of amount will be trapped in your inventory. Inventory might become old, that will cause the other kind of losses. There will be warehousing uh, problems also that will be there. So, therefore, what this company thought that let's try to change our business model. So, therefore, they all thought instead of going from made to stock model means we make it we stock it customers buy let's try to shift to made to order model means customer will come they will select from the sample clothes that we all have and the sample designs that we have our tailors are there they will stitch the product based upon your requirement and this company has come out with a scheme that will deliver you within 3 days in case we cannot will give you 5% discount and any modifications that are being done will be done free of cost by us if suppose the product doesn't fit properly at that particular time we'll try to be taking care of that so therefore this is a new model and we are uh, asked in the problem to basically comment about this particular model only how this particular model is working but when we are asked to comment about this model no okay there is lot amount of data that is given to us basically these six things are given to us and we have been asked that you analyze the data under three heads which three heads first production performance first second delivery cycle performance how fast you are delivering the product and customer satisfaction so this is the first criteria this is a second criteria third criteria and there are so many kpis which are given to us so first thing is we need to be classifying them okay this data has been given for the last 6 months to us under first criteria that is production performance what all kpis will be coming we have been given the data of 6 months okay so we need to be saying that that under production performance what what kpi will be coming then we'll try to analyze those particular things first of all orders needing the modification on the account of errors in taking down the orders or in the manufacturing process 
if we will try to analyze this particular trend now it is continuously falling i guess this will get accounted on the production performance only so this is a clean data for us it has been falling so therefore like you know with the passage of time companies also learning how to be uh, better producing they are getting good experience in this particular business so therefore this is a good sign for the company now orders delivered beyond 3 days i guess this kpi will be coming under delivery cycle performance okay so this will be commented after some time then production downtime in terms of hours now this production downtime in terms of hours number of hours of downtime no it is continuously increasing except for i guess uh, this is 22 except for a month in middle okay this is 22 or 122 i don't much know you can see in your books but as such it has been quite increasing might be except for this particular month if it is 22 so this is something like you know which is a warning sign because if there is lot of downtime then lot amount of time of the workers of the tailors is wasted and then they will not be able to deliver within 3 days then company will have to give a discount also which is a bad sign and i think production downtime will only lead to this particular thing labor idle time due to but this is unavailability of materials okay so therefore this is extra apart from this here the machines are down here by the workers are idle because there is no material again this particular thing 25 22 17 13 24 and 22 now it has been falling then again it increase company should try to find out the reasons that why this kind of a idle time is there do remember that whenever there is idle time you will still have to be paying the workers so it is not a very good sign so as far as the production goes like you know company has done good job over here company has yet to do good job over here okay that is one thing So this is all about your production downtime. I'll come back to the comments. Whatever I've written in shorts, but just wait. Delivery cycle performance. Delivery cycle performance. How fast we are delivering. So therefore, orders delivered beyond three days of the timeline. Five percent, four percent, three percent. It was falling again. It has increased. Might be one of the reasons in this particular case it increased was might be because of this particular part. So therefore, company has to find out because you remember if you're delivering. after 3 days first of all it leads to somewhere loss of the goodwill second thing it results in that 5% discount which is loss for you all so somewhere or the other company should try to be serious and try in this case to deliver the product within 3 days so on this particular front uh, honestly it is not doing very good although like you know the performance has been going up and down but it has not been that great as such okay not much amount of improvement it started with 5% it has ended with 5% only and in middle it reduced a bit then it increased a bit okay. okay further further in this particular case this is now the next part over here is customer satisfaction now customer satisfaction in this business okay that will be reflected through 5 and 6 what is the data of 5 and 6 ratio of made to order of the total sales from the factory outlet you know those guys had two businesses one was their older model made to stock and this is their made to order the new model so what is the ratio of this new model okay from in this case like you know the total one so ratio of the sales value so 16% 22 25 32 34 38 this has been continuously increasing that means customers are liking this particular product our sales from this business are continuously increasing that is a good sign your dependence on that business will be falling that business first of all was not doing very great that is one thing in absolute terms it is still very high like you know this business at its peak also in 6 months it is 38% so 62% still that particular business but that business is kind of a falling market and it results in huge cost this particular business is a good thing okay apart from that repeat orders by the customers availing this facility that is percentage of customers giving the repeat order divided by total number of customers availing made to order so how many customers are repeat customers from 4% 21 30 this is all increasing stuff now this really represents a satisfaction of the students sorry of the customers so <clears throat> overall i think that customers are liking this entire business that is there is no doubt about that sales are increasing of this business there are few issues as far as the production goes but apart from that i think the company is doing quite good i'm reading the shorts of it now now in the shorts of it what is uh, written <clears throat> first of all production performance modification to orders this results in additional cost such instances were higher than 10% in the first 3 months in the first 3 months if you all will be seeing like you know it was higher uh, 
than 10%, but then it started to fall. So that's a good sign as such. With experience, either in the order taking process or in the manufacturing, these errors have started to substantially reduce in the later months. Suggestion, management should want to set a benchmark financially in terms of cost of modification and non-financially in terms of acceptable threshold for such instances. Monthly tracking of this metric will help in detection of the errors. You should try to track this particular thing. This metric will help you in cutting down your cost also due to the errors up and so on. Okay, then production downtime normally occurs either due to the breakdown of the machine or plant and maintenance is an unproductive time resulting in or reducing the machine's capacity it must be kept to the minimum downtime hours have been steadily increasing in the past three months the overall monthly average being 91.67 we have taken out the average of these particular all all these things <coughs> The production manager has to analyze and take the corrective action at the earliest. We took the average only because in this case, it was not completely going up. It fell down in middle. So therefore, I think that figure must be 22 only. Then the urgency of the issue can be compounded by the fact that sales under made to order have been increasing steadily over the far last few months. In the latest month, 38% of the overall sales were from this model. That second last model, I think that second last KPI, this 38%. Okay. Therefore, the production capacity needs to be optimally utilized to ensure the ability to meet the deadline. Those three days are very important. Further, labor idle time due to unavailability of the material is another unproductive waste time of the resources. On an average, 20.5% of the labor idle time is due to unavailability of the appropriate material. Appropriate steps can lead to arrangement with a seamless supply of the material. So you should try to be ensuring that the material is available Okay, try to have some kind of a dealing with the supplier that he will deliver whenever we all will want or he should try to deliver before we all will want whatever but try to sort out this problem. Then delivery cycle performance, delivery cycle performance on time delivery. Now on time delivery in this case was this point number two whereby it fell down that again it increased. So there was there was no clear trend as such. Okay, so. <coughs> Company has to deliver the product within three days, else it has to be giving a discount of 5%. Prompt delivery is also company selling point to attract the customers who would uh, otherwise patronize its rivals. On an average, 5% of the orders are not delivered within time. Therefore, the average delivery success rate is only 95%. The management has to take steps that is kept uh, steps so that this is kept to the minimum and not to stem the loss of revenue and also to bring the brand loyalty. It will be always better that you try to deliver the product on time. The customers will also be more loyal as such. Okay, then further. Customer satisfaction. Now, customer satisfaction, there were two criteria in that. Repeat order by the customer and the sales mix. So, statistics show that repeat order have been increasing and this is a very positive signal to the management. Initially, only 4% of the customers had placed the order under this particular model and now it has almost increased to 63% who purchased the orders under this particular so therefore these are all our repeat customers they must be liking these kind of clothes far better than the earlier ones and that is why these guys are coming back sales mix business is picking up this model generates uh, on an average 28 percent of total sales in fact even if you do not find out the average i still try to be thinking it is fine because it is continuously increasing as such okay of the total sales from the outlet which is likely projection of having a higher share in the overall sales mix therefore the make to order can also be termed as a success so in terms of sales it is all success yes there are few signs whereby in production we all are now doing very good but i think we are i think in future we will be improving and like you know whenever you're going to be starting a new business such kind of uh, teething issues will also be coming like you know there will be a lot of downtime there will be the idle time because you might not get the material apart from that there will be some errors because as such there will be new tailors who will be employed so those uh, teething issues are there try to correct them okay but overall i think this business model is being quite good okay that's it about this particular question question number two we'll start away with question number three then now there is a company that is involved in a charitable business okay it tries to take care of the older people so it's basically not there for earning profits is there to be helping the people now data has been given to us for the three months that ended okay july august september and it has four objectives for these three months what four objectives first to achieve a level of donation of 30 lakh rupees now, if you total it up, this plus this plus this, that comes to 31 lakhs. So, company has done quite good there, not a problem. Second, it has another objective to keep advertisement costs not more than 3% of donations. 
So if you'll compute this, that comes to 2.5%. If you'll compute this, it comes to 4%. If you compute this, that comes to 3%. Overall, I think if you try to total it up, it comes to some 3.33%. So overall, as such, in the first month, it was within the target. In the second month, it was quite higher. It was supposed to be 3% maximum. Now it has touched to 4%. September, it was exactly equal to. So overall, that was higher. Now, might be that in the month of August, like, you know, they had to do some kind of a fundraiser program. Obviously, due to that, some advertisement cost will be required. But then this, like, you know, the benefits of that are also seen over here. So, although we all have not met this target, but I think that's pretty okay. There's nothing much as such to be criticizing it. But yes, if suppose that is one of the things that you require for the future. In future, try to control your advertisement cost. To keep welfare cost more than 85% of the donation. So, therefore, this upon this, you can try to be doing for all the months as such. Okay. And then you can try to be commenting that which month it was good, which month it was bad as such. Okay. I'll do this part. Uh, so, <clears throat> First part of donation I have told you, second part of advertisement cost I have told you. Then in this case, the third one, to keep the welfare cost more than 85% of the donation, I think first two months it was lower and then it was higher. So overall, it was almost fine for the three months if you try to find out the average up and so on. Okay. And then there was one last objective to achieve 90% of the respite care requested from the community. A respite care request means how many people ask for the help and how many like, you know, we could give. So, how many requests we did accept. So, therefore, out of 1120 request days that were provided, means we have to take care of the elders for these many days. It's something like, say, like, you know, your operating costing bed days. So, something like that. Okay. So, 1120 requests were made, but then we gave the care for 896 days. So, this upon this will give you that percentage. This upon this will give you that percentage. This upon this will give you that percentage. So, overall, also, if you all want, you all can find out. So, uh, it was improving. But overall, the target is not met. So, like, you know, uh, it was lower in the first month. But then, I guess, in the last month, it has started to be improving. I'll just try to find out the percentages once. So, 896 divided by 1120. This was 80%. Our target was 85%. Then 1003 divided by 1140. I think it has increased now to 87%. So, that's good. And then in this case, 1104 to 1200 percentage. So therefore, this was 92%. So in the first two months, it was not met, but then it has been increasing. So I think in future also, if suppose we try to be thinking trend will be meeting. So in future, the company should be able to achieve it. Although if you try to take the average of the three months, it has not been able to be doing it. Okay, that's it about this particular uh, question. Performance evaluation, you all can get any type of question for any type of industry. Okay, so just be careful that you read the question, you try to interlink the KPIs as I told in the beginning. And if the performance is bad, you try to comment on that. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Take care guys. Bye.